Tom. Welcome to two months since the last vlog. I, okay, I know. It's been a long time since I, I've done one of these. Um, but uh, I, I kind of got into like a, like a down section of my life and it's like, I don't want to film that. And it's like, a, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't end up getting, I, I had fun at RTX, but I didn't end up getting any footage from it. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else like has happened since then. Mostly, mostly work, honestly. Uh, and then I went back home to visit my parents uh, in Connecticut, and uh, my brother and sister were there. So uh, it was like a whole family affair. We're, we're there celebrating my uh, my dad's uh, my dad's birthday. So that was a lot of fun. Got to meet my nephew as well. Anywho, in terms of today, it is Monday, so it is uh, GSD Monday. GSD, yeah. So um, having myself some breakfast. I made myself an omelet, and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, it actually probably doesn't look like ketchup on screen, but you're probably thinking, Tom, ketchup on eggs? That's sriracha. I like sriracha on my eggs. Uh, you can also see that the omelet got a little um, screwed up when I tried to fold it. Oh, I was going to put cheese on this as well. Oh, well. Um, when I tried to fold it, it got a little screwed up, but it's edible. It's delicious. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it's delicious. The rest of the day is going to be mostly cleaning up around the house. Uh, getting stuff recorded, getting stuff edited, getting stuff done. That's what GSD Monday is all about, is getting stuff done. Uh, I also got a haircut, as you can uh, probably very much see. I actually just got it today. I dropped Manatee off at, um, at Doggy Day Camp. And uh, then I went to go get a, uh, a haircut. And uh, yeah, I haven't had a shower yet today. But uh, once I do, that's when I'll really get like the scope of how good the haircut was. Uh, so, you know, we'll see on that. Uh, but anywho, brefkis. Delicious, delicious brefkis. Fun fact, whenever I'm feeding manatee his first meal of the day, I call it breakfast. So let's see how this tastes. It's good. <laughs> Got a lot of sriracha there. Wow. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and then get on with the day. Hi, Bug. Hey. Did you have a good day at daycare? Did you have a good day at doggy daycare? Give me a kiss. Thank you. Thank you, Bug. Signif significantly later, excuse me, I uh, got a lot of cleaning done. I think what I'm gonna plan on doing, uh, on doing for Let's Plays going forward is maybe I'll stream an extra day of the week Maybe. This is kind of up in the air. Either that, or I'll dedicate some time uh, during a stream to recording a Let's, to recording let's Plays. He's getting a drink. Uh, so, like, the first, like, two or three hours of a stream will be, like, me recording, like, a Let's Play. Then we, like, take a break for me to stretch, get some meat, let him out, feed him, whatever I've got to do. And then we continue on with what I would normally be streaming then. Which I think is a good compromise. Because I feel like, uh, Get a lot more going for uh, for doing streams on the uh, what is it? Doing streams on the uh, doing streams for let's plays. Um, I feel like it's I don't know more exposure, I guess. And it's like if you wanna if you wanna catch like the full like stream portion of it. So like to those that are worried, where it's like oh now this now the uh, let's plays are gonna be full of. Uh, um, alerts and, uh, like, you know, all those kind of, and Tom talking to chat. No, they won't. It's, I've, I've done Let's Plays like that in the past. Uh, Yakuza was a Let's Play I did, uh, on Twitch. And, you know, despite forgetting occasionally to turn off the alerts, um, for the most part, uh, you know, for the most part, because, like, having the chat open is sometimes really good if I need, like, advice on something. Uh, like immediate advice, because sometimes guides just aren't very helpful. But it, in terms of the overall like experience, it'll be identical to as if I was recording it off stream. Because like, I don't know, it's, part of it just feels like that like recording a let's play off stream is a little bit wasteful, kind of. Because like I, I I don't know, it's it's it, it's 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 weird to me a little bit. Like I I've I've got a weird uh, what is it called? perspective on it it's like one in the morning so he i think is more than ready for bed oh especially with that big old yawn so we're gonna be doing that soon uh i'm moving on from uh at the uh the advice of one uh stephen george uh i am uh not gonna be using 
uh, what's it called? What's that? What's that big old program called that everybody uses for their uh, their editing? Well, not everybody, but I'm moving. I'm trying to move on from as many Adobe products as possible. Um, so I need to find a voice recorder. Apparently, Audacity is now full of of, uh, of spyware because um, of a buyout, and uh, I'm switching over from Premiere to Resolve. The only Adobe product I'm really keeping is Photoshop, and um, let me uh, let me give you a little uh, advice on uh, on Photoshop and uh, how uh, Adobe's kind of um, taking advantage of stupid consumers is that they have two Photoshop plans on there. I don't know what the difference is between the two Photoshop plans, but both of them are twenty one dollars a month. I'm paying ten dollars a month for mine. How? Because if you it, because uh, what you got to do is search for the photography. Uh, plan for that one which gives you Photoshop and Lightroom for ten dollars a month if you buy for if you if you're doing Photoshop alone you're paying more than double of what you'd be getting for this bundle so if you're if, if you've been using Photoshop on just a Photoshop plan look into the photography bundle because you'll be you'll cut that you'll cut your bill in half for that and uh, it's cutting my bill pretty significantly too because I had the uh, the package that gave you like everything which was $54 a month. And now I'm down to $10 a month in that photography plan, so that's good. Plus Resolve, the version of Resolve I'm using is free. Still need a voice recorder though. Um, I might just do what Jared does and uh, uh, just record it through uh, like OBS or something. Um, Cause honestly, if I just record the, if I can make like a profile for it, make the uh, the output resolution like one by one, and uh, just record the audio that way. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, in terms of the new haircut here, uh, I think I got it cut shorter than I wanted it to. Um, after like having a shower and like teasing it a little bit, I think I did get it cut shorter than I wanted to. But I think that's good because then I won't have to go for a haircut for as long. Um, I, li I like it a little bit on the longer side, honestly. So yeah, why don't we, uh, why don't we end this day off with a little zoom in on the manatee snoot. You doing good, bud? You ready for bed? Let's go to bed. We're at the park and the dugong is enjoying some playtime with the hose. He really loves that hose. It is Tuesday. Sitting over here at a uh, neighbor's dog park. Uh, some of the dogs are uh, picking on another dog, but I think they're all having a good time in total. Manatee, uh, I wouldn't say he gets picked on. Rather, he invites trouble whenever he's here. He'll uh, run around trying to get dogs to chase, but then the entire park will start chasing after him. The uh, Nintendo Direct was today. Very uh, surprisingly uh, announced a couple days ago. Got a lot of uh, got a lot of good games that came out, or that are that came from that. New Fire Emblem game launched, uh, where the gimmick seems to be past Fire Emblem, past Fire Emblem characters. Um... More Nintendo Switch Online N64 games were announced, including GoldenEye, surprisingly. Uh, we also got a title for uh, the Breath of the Wild sequel that's uh, coming out in spring of next year. I think they said it was a May release date. And what else? Oh, and the most important thing of all, Fist of the, Fist of the, of the North Star Boxing uh, was, uh, was announced. If you haven't seen that trailer, look it up. It's really funny. Uh, it's like a, it's like one of those boxing training games, but with a fist of the North Star theme. In terms of the rest of the day, I gotta pull more uh, highlights for videos, and then uh, I want to go to the gym today once uh, once we're done here at the park. Just some dogs over there having a time. A lot of fun heads at the dog park. Hi, Bug. Bug, you're all wet. You're soaking wet, buddy. 
What are you doing? He's such a good boy. He was a little, uh, he was a bit of a jerk yesterday after he got back from uh, from doggy day camp, but you know, I, I still love him. He's my dog. Oh, what else? Oh, the PlayStation State of Play is later today as well, so I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be looking at that. There was one game I was super excited for, and now I can't think of it. Uh, man, what else did they announce? They're re-releasing Kirby uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland on the Switch. Um. Oh man, what else was there? There's like there's like one big one that like that I'm thinking of that that's just evading me. Oh well. I'm sure I'll remember it in editing. So hopefully uh, the rest of the day goes well for me here. And uh, yeah, got the gym, I got the PlayStation State of Play, and then I'm going to uh, stream some Splatoon 3 later today. I like to get in a little bit of uh, rough housing before bed. He's such a good boy. <laughs> but... He can hurt a little bit when he does this, but ah, ah, ooh, oh, maybe a little bit more than I thought. But uh, it's not it's not nearly as bad as it, as it looks. While I'm playing with him here. I might as well conclude over what the uh, over what happened in the day. After I got back from uh, the park, uh, showered, and uh, got ready, and then uh, played. Uh, or no, I didn't play first. I uh, I watched the PlayStation State of Play stream. You, you doing all right there, Bug? He's doing just fine. Uh, I watched the PlayStation uh, State of Play stream, and uh, they announced some pretty neat stuff. They announced one that was a Yakuza game that never came out in the States um, that uh, takes place in, like, the uh, 1800s in Japan. It's got to it's gotta be, uh, be about Kiryu's uh, ancestor there. Oh, oh, that one hurt a little bit. But, uh... Some, there's some good ones on there too. Both both the samurai games looked really good, uh, and God God of War Ragnarok also looked pretty darn good too. Uh, but yeah, after the state of play, I recorded some Splatoon three as a let's play, and uh, that went really well actually. Got four episodes in. Probably gonna record three or four episodes every time I stream that, and uh, then just topped off the night by playing more Splatoon. What's up? Oh, buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I finished up, let him outside, and I'm fed a little bit as well. One thing I, I did, I don't know if it's in good form or not, but I uploaded the uh, PlayStation stream, uh, yeah, PlayStation reaction, the state of play reaction during the stream, but we're kind of taking a break anyway. So I don't think it was that big of a deal. Showed a little bit of behind the scenes as well about like how I make the, uh, the thumbnails for it. But, you know, learn learn a bit of Photoshop, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty easy once you got Photoshop, because the, I'll tell you one thing, the content-aware fill tool and the, uh, and the, uh, magnetic lasso are your best friends. Oh, what, now you're upset with me? Little dingus. Little dingus. He'll come around once I'm, once I'm done recording this. Hi, bud. You taking a little nap? No, you're getting up now. He doesn't like it when I point the camera at him. He doesn't like it when he knows I'm pointing the camera at him. Anyway, getting close to, uh, it's, it's actually at midnight right now. It is Wednesday! No, but, um, uh, I'm fooling around with, um, DaVinci Resolve. Trying to get, like, the hang of it and, like, uh, edit, um, you know... Get the hang of it so I can edit the vlog with it. Um, so it's it's not terribly difficult. It's just that I've got to relearn a lot of stuff that... There's some stuff you can do with it where you can say like, oh, I'm going to make the hotkeys similar to Premiere. And I did that. And there's still some stuff that isn't like quite the same, so I'm still like learning with it. Uh, currently just you know fiddling around with some stuff. I still have to figure out the... Uh, graphic animation for one. I got like the, you know, the, um, let's see, where would it come in on this? You know, where the, the camera and then day and then have that kind of go voom, back in there. Um, hopefully, hopefully when I, uh, you know, I'll definitely have that figured out by then because you would, you would have seen it in the first two days of this. 
and just then when I made those hand motions. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking to get away from uh, from um, as much of Adobe as possible, um, if possible. Uh, Photoshop, I'm too ingrained in Photoshop, so I'm still on that one. But, you know, I've pretty much like reduced the cost of my um, my content creation stuff. So like I was using um, Adobe Audition for voice recording. I was using uh, Premiere for editing. I was using Photoshop for like thumbnails and various other things. Um, and that was caught, and because of and because at that point I was pretty much just like, well, I might as well get the entire Adobe suite. That was costing me $55 a month. Since I switched over to Resolve and I still need to find a, a, a free voice recorder. Um, that is an audacity because apparently that, that got bought out and is now awful. Um, in more than just quality. It's uh, apparently it's like, it's practically spyware now. Um, I've, uh, I've reduced that to $10 a month with uh, just Photoshop. Speaking of, uh, I, I probably mentioned this before, but speaking of which, um, if you're looking at a photo, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, but I'll mention it again just for safety's sake. If you have Photoshop or you're looking to get Photoshop, look for the photography plan because just Photoshop is $21 a month. The photography plan is Photoshop and Lightroom and it's $10 a month. So keep an eye out for that when you're searching for like plans on, on getting specifically Photoshop. But, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I think I'm done fiddling around with this, uh, though, and, uh, we're gonna go to bed. He is, he looks like, as, you know, if I could move from my hand, he looks like he is definitely ready for bed. What are you looking at? You're looking at the door. Manatee. Manatee. Watch me. Buddy, why are you not like the camera? It is. What the hell happened to my house? Uh... I think I've been robbed. They, uh, I think they're starting to take the, the drywall down and... Actually, this doesn't look like the layout of my house at all. That's because, unlike the other house that I'm currently living in, it's a rental, this is my house. I haven't built and uh, came over here because uh, my mom, who is my parents rather, who are both into real estate, or, or, or yeah, both do uh, real estate. Let me come over and just check things out, make sure everything was on, was like on the level here. This room right here is probably gonna be my office. Probably put the desk in that corner. I don't know why that closet has a window. Uh, and then this, I'll make this into a sound booth. I got linen closet here, guest bathroom. I'm just gonna bust through the wall here to the uh, closet in the master bathroom. Here's the master bathroom and the master bedroom. And then a nice loft area here. Don't know what I wanna do with this yet. Well, I do know what I wanna do. It's just that I don't know if I can, you know, make it happen. And then, uh, yeah, a guest room. And then downstairs, right there, we got the kitchen. Over there's the dining area. This is the great room. I mean, like you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit. I believe this is a pantry. Water closet. <clears throat> Jump it down here. Uh, laundry room. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the laundry room. I think this is just a closet, like just, just storage. So I do want. Uh, so good thing I'm having that like that closet up there is like sort of a personal space because I, I ever since I moved out of uh, the last place I was living in with uh, with Z, I've really wanted to um, make a make a, a sound booth again. Uh, but there there isn't like there isn't really the space for it in the place that I'm currently in. So in other words, that went to the dentist today. Actually, it's funny. I woke up. It was 9 a.m. and I was thinking to my, and like, I, I had a reminder on my phone. I'm like, what the heck is this? And it was like dentist appointment, 9 a.m. I'm like, shoot. So I got everything ready. I tried to get manatee fed. I let him outside. Uh, tried to do everything really quick. Rushed over there. Just missed the 15 minute deadline for me to like, you know, still be on time. And they're like, yeah, sorry, we're gonna have to reschedule, damn it. But they had a, an opening at 2 p.m. So I'm like, cool. Uh, and they wanted me to check through paperwork and like fill out some paperwork. So I'm like, cool, let me do that now. 
So that way when I come back, you just get me in there and it'll be all well and good. Um, so yeah, there was that. In the in the uh, in between time, I went to um, the to neighbor's dog park. Um, let Mancy run around get get some of his energy out because I'm because I've been on the move a lot today. Uh, and then I went to the gym, which is why I'm wearing my contacts today. Uh, that was good. Did um. I, I, you know, I'm going to see if I can consistently get up early because it feels like I've got more time in the day now. It's only like, what, 3.30 p.m. right now? This is normally when I'd be, like, taking manatee to the dog park. Um, after this, though, I don't really have much planned. I should probably look into doing some, uh, some, uh, uh, uh what do you call it? Just back-end stuff or whatever. I have to get the, uh, the new Let's Play of Splatoon 3, uh, up and going right now. But, uh, but yeah... I am super excited to see all this come to fruition. I haven't really shown it off before. I think I've mentioned it a few times on stream that I'm having a house built, but yeah. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be real nice. What are you doing? There you go. Whoa. It's favorite activity here. Anything having to do with water. he goes. Such a good little scamp. Hey, you having fun? Yeah, you're such a good boy. It is Thursday. Uh, woke up a little bit later today. Got a bunch of uh, videos uh, uploaded and primed to go. I think the first, no, the 10th episode of Halo Reach comes out today and Splatoon starts tomorrow. Um, and then tonight I gotta figure out what I want to be the new Let's Play that's gonna replace Halo Reach when that finishes up on Saturday. Oh. Got a little bit of a puppy stampede going on here. Oh, oh they have good times. He's just kind of running around like a lunatic, not really interacting with the other dogs. He likes interacting with the dogs, but he also likes being chased. So what he's trying to do is run around to gain those other dogs' attention. So that way, you know, he can kind of be like the the, the target of the chasing. But now he's just kind of staying there because he realizes none of the other dogs are going to chase him. Weird, weird little man. Whoop. The, I mean, the attempt is there for him. And here he comes again. The attempt is there, and he's doing his best. I'm th I'll have to check what like what I uh, let's played before um, Oblivion, because I've got Saints Row and Kotor, uh, Saints Row Three and Kotor Two. I could possibly do, but I don't know if I want to do those immediately quite yet. I'm thinking maybe I'll. I might like buffer it with one other let's play and then do Saints Row. And it depends on which order I went in. Whichever one I, end, I haven't done in a longer time, I'll probably um, end up doing first. But maybe have like, like one more buffer let's play between, um, between Halo Reach and either Saints Row or KOTOR and then doing those. I'm excited for KOTOR too because uh, I haven't played it before. I mean, I've played a little bit of it, but, I, but it, the gameplay is largely the same as KOTOR 1, but the, um, uh, but I didn't get very far in it. I remember very little of it. The, the two main things I remember from it are HK-47 comes back, and one of your party members is a member of Darth Maul's race. So that'll be, that'll be really interesting to, to, you know, find out more about that. But anyway, we're going to enjoy the park for a little while longer. Usually come here for an hour so you can like burn off some energy. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Buddy, you wanna get back in the pool? Come here. Where are you going? Buddy, come here. Or you can have a stick. He's not supposed to have sticks because he sometimes throws up when he chews on them. All right, give it here, bud. Give it here. Hi, bug. Come here. Come here. Oh. Who's the sweetest boy, huh? Love you. It is Friday. 
Uh, woke up, went to the gym, set some videos for uh, for upload. I'm pretty good on that. I never actually went over my dentist appointment. I have one broken filling. Well, in the process of breaking, it still functions. It doesn't hurt, so there's that. Unfortunately, it, it's uh, it's gonna cost a lot to repair and I'm saving up money right now, so uh, I'm gonna have to wait. I know a stitch in time saves nine, but you know, I get the feeling that no matter how damaged this gets, it's gonna cause the same to, to fix it anyway. Um, and then on this side, I've got something that appears to be like the start of a cavity, but isn't quite a cavity. I ordered some stuff on Amazon. First off is uh, this. This is a grip for uh, my camera. Well, it's not really a grip. It's a tripod that's supposed to attach to the bottom side of a grip. So it opens up like this, yada, yada, yada. But it screws onto the top the same way. Uh, the, the top here has a screw that's the same as like what I'm currently using. And uh, I also ordered a grip, but it hasn't shown up yet. Um, and the reason for that is because, well, this one that I'm using has always been loose and uh, it makes kind of filming this stuff a little bit difficult. This will, st the thing I'm using right now will still have use though, as it does, oh no wait, the other grip has an adjustable head to it as well, I think. Cause this has like a, an adjustable, like I'll, I'll show you. It's got like the adjustable, uh, as soon as it focuses in right there, right? Hello. There we go. It's got the adjustable uh, ball head right there. So, um, it's easy for like aiming when you've got a, when like you've got the tripod on it. It's got a tripod built into it. Plus like the neck extends, but the extending neck is what makes it loose. So that's why I'm opting for a new one. So once that new grip comes in, hopefully the footage will be a bit more stable. Uh, I also bought a pizza cutter and I also bought a sharpening stone. You could see a weird reflection there. You see the tiny little bubbles coming up from uh, from in there. Testing it out now. It's been hard. To, it's uh, it's been hard to um, slice tomatoes with uh, with this knife here. So uh, going to uh, gonna try giving it a giving it a sharpen. And in fact, one of the uses this uh, this uh, handle still has with the tripod and the uh, the head like the 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 uh, ball and joint head on it is. Um, I'm gonna be able to show you guys what it looks like to sharpen this thing. So that'll be neat and hopefully not bloody at all. So the next clip may either be of me successfully sharpening the knife or a quick trip to the hospital. So using that sharpening kit was really interesting. Um, the instructions were really vague. So what they have you do is they got like, the, you've got the angle guide on there and you're running across the, uh, the stone to get like to, uh, to get the, uh, an edge on it on like each side, like two to three times you run across there, flip it over two to three times on that side. You keep doing that up to like, like 10 to like 50 strokes. I think it's set on there, like depending on what the blade is made out of. Uh, and then at the end, uh, and then after that, you flip it over and you do it again on the uh, on the other side of it, which I think is higher grit or lower grit. I don't really know how it works. I'm assuming higher grit, but basically just like to get rid of like the what's called like the burr on it, which I again the instructions were vague, so I didn't get a good exp explanation on that. Um, and hopefully sharpen the knife. So I tried testing it on a piece of paper, and I wasn't sure if I was actually cutting the paper with the knife or if. Um, the pressure that I was pushing down with the knife was what was actually cutting it. So, you know, good, uh, good test that's going to be when I go grocery shopping sometime in the, um, in the near future and, uh, grab a tomato and, you know, try it with that and see if it's easier to cut it than it has been in the past. Um, if it hasn't, I'm not going to consider it a total loss because I probably still need to learn how to use, use it. For all I know, I was, I was like rubbing, uh, rubbing it. I was, um, like a uh, uh, grinding it at the wrong angle because I was going like the long ways it's sort of like uh like um you, you know you you've seen a little bit already um like as I went down it like trying to get along the entire edge of the blade but what I might have to do instead is turn it so the you know I don't know I was thinking turn it so the uh, the um what is it so it's horizontal and that, that way I can get more of the entire blade on there so you know we'll see Hopefully I can get it working. Anyway, any wait, yes, any anyway, rate. Yesterday I did stream Night Sealed Republic. Uh, got some of the um, 
Got some uh, episodes of that done. Plan on doing four half-hour episodes of that recording a week and send them off to uh, my editor, Dan. Uh, it's great work. I have to do a couple more things for that Let's Play today. I have to get him the list of my patrons for Patreon, and I have to sing um, a Star Wars intro theme so that way I don't get a copyright claim for the Star Wars theme at the beginning of Knights of the Republic. I'm think by the time this vlog has come out, that, that video will already be out. I'm thinking I just sing Duel of Fates. I think that'd be funny. Oh, uh, but anyway. Yeah, uh, rest of the night is going to be spent uh, either chilling out or doing back-end stuff. I've, I'm behind, in terms of uh, posting them, behind by two weeks. But in terms of collecting them, I'm behind by one, which is the uh, tomfoolery highlights. Uh, every week I got those. Um... I try to make them, them weekly. They're, they're pretty good as like a recap for people. I can include, um, you know, like buttons and chapters and whatnot to guide people to the original content for it. And it's, it's just like a good way for people to keep up with the content. So that's, that's always like, that's always been, uh, those are always good to do. I gotta tell you though, with Halo Reach, y'all have been real good about um, making highlights for Halo Reach. But I, I see it sometimes and I'm just like, it's such a long list to go through. But, you know, I know it's, that, that's part of the job. I shouldn't complain. I'm like one of the luckiest people in the world to, to do what I do and, and be happy with it. What are you doing, Bug? What are you doing over there? Why oh, you look so sad? You always got that little sourpuss on your face. Yeah, same. It is Sunday. Manatee and I have had a pretty good weekend. They have one little hiccup, though. During, uh, during our, our visit to the park, uh, which is the neighbor's park I tell you guys about a lot, um, he, well, this isn't an issue with him, but it was, it's a, it was a potential issue with him uh, that could have happened. It was a, uh, a rather large uh, Australian Shepherd-looking dog there. And, like, they were kind of doing, like, their introductions, uh, you know, sniffing each other, that kind of thing. And the uh, shepherd dog kind of like turns around and like snaps at him, like, you know, like one loud bark and like a chomp and that kind of thing. I don't think it hit him at all because I, I didn't find any um, any sort of like uh, cuts on him or anything. Do you want to go outside, bud? He's a good boy. Come on, let's go outside. Please don't bark. It's laid out. But anyway, uh... The, um, so a smaller dog, uh, starts, like, sniffing at this dog, and they start, like, sniffing each other. The big shepherd decides, okay, enough's enough, snaps at that dog. Smaller dog's eye starts bleeding. So, so they took him inside, gave him medical, brought him back out. He was, like, he was fine, like, doing all that stuff. Got with the big dog left. And the way they do, like, the registration at, uh, the dog park, that neighbor's dog park, is, um... It's, like, you pay every time you get in, like, you're, you're registered through, like, a, uh, like, um... You're registered, like, with your dogs. So every time, like, you pay to go in, or if you have, like, the membership or whatever, they keep, they've got a record of you. So, hopefully, hopefully that guy with, like, the bigger shepherd dog gets kicked out, and, you know, hopefully they cover, like, the vet fees that are inevitably like, going to come from that dog got bit on the eye. So, that was scary, because that could have been manatee. But he's fine. Streamed also on Saturday. I streamed Xenoblade Chronicles for, like, six hours, which is always a good time. And then today, uh, today I went to the gym, uh, and then immediately canceled out on my progress at the gym by eating an entire pizza. Um, it was a DiGiorno, the, uh, the, the Hawaiian. I like pineapple on pizza. I know it's divisive, but whatever. Um, and then I streamed, uh, Codenames, uh, and Among Us with, uh, with, like, a bunch of people. Chill, Junkyard, uh, Fuya, uh, Cortelli, a lot of the people that normally join us for that. Raven, Matt Bragg. And then after that, uh, I needed to record some more uh, Splatoon 3 because uh, um, I sent the Night Sealed Republic Let's Play that I recorded to Dan. And I had known in advance that like, he was on vacation. He said, all right, but I'll be able to get some stuff done on the road with my laptop, yada, yada, yada. It turns out his laptop's having issues, so, uh, so you know... No big deal there. Dan's a vacation. I'm kind of glad that he's, that, uh, you know, it, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because he doesn't have to, um, like, he gets to enjoy his time without having to worry about work. So, I'm all, I'm, I'm all well and good with that. Um, and, you know, I greatly appreciate the work that Dan and Austin do for me. 
So um, after I did Among Us and uh, Code Names, I streamed some Splatoon 3 to get more of that. So that way I could have Splatoon 3 for the rest of this week. And uh, that was pretty fun. Got a, little fr got a little frustrated by some of those challenges on that one. But then again, I kind of do it to myself because I always pick the hardest weapon to do in those games. And uh, yeah, some of those weapons are really hard. Another thing that happened today is that uh, the, so this is the grip I ordered uh, for, uh, for the camera. Um, as you can see, I'm not using it. The reason for that is because the tripod that I'm using on it currently is actually significantly better as a grip, plus functions as a tripod, plus I could probably screw an attachment on there to give it the ball, uh, the, the, um, ball joint on there that I thought that grip was going to have, but didn't. I guess he wants to come inside now. You were not there for very long, were you, bug? The lock on this door gets stuck sometimes. Come on. There we go. Hi. Hello. We're about to go to bed. It's like one in the morning. But he's been good. He's always a good bug. Love him a lot. Sweet bean. Anyway, that's pretty much been the entire week. Um, next week, more of the same, honestly. I don't really have much planned going for the rest of September here. I'm hoping by October uh, my VTuber model will be done so I can premiere that sometime in October. But we'll see. Who knows? We'll see. I'm, I'm getting excited for it. And you're sleepy. Before we go, we can thank our patrons on Patreon as you can see them scrolling across the screen now. Five bucks gets you, gets you your name scrolling across the screen for new Let's Plays and, uh, and these vlogs. Uh... And he's, uh, he's, he's trying to nibble on my hand here. He's giving me a kiss, though. Uh, we also do monthly movie nights, and uh, I give behind-the-scenes access for the, uh, the higher tiers of uh, Patreon as well. So consider it. Consider clicking on the, uh, the link in the description or on the card or at the end of the video, what have you, and consider going to my Patreon. But anyway, that's going to be it for this week. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Why are you chewing on my hand? Later. <laughs>